we're here today at this fantastic lake you can see in the background while I'm talking. Think about the difference between training on this and training on the River Thames where you're dodging pleasure boats, commercial boats. We weren't able to compete on anything like the same level as we, as we can now. We take sport much more seriously now. The funding has got an awful lot better. Uh, the National Lottery has helped us with that. In rowing, Siemens has helped us with that. And now we need to give back the success to the public in all British sport. We're training pretty hard. We're in the middle of some really hard training and people see us racing once every four years, probably the Olympics, but the day in, day out training is really grinding and it's, it's pretty hard work. The challenge we've set ourselves over the last two years is to be the best rowers we can be, to uh, actually find new limits, new boundaries. Looking into the, the small parts of what we do, just eke out more speed. I mean, it's a very satisfying, even in the small increments, still very satisfying uh, feeling to know that you can still be better. We train three times a day most days and that training is a sort of hour and a half to two hour session each time. So, I mean, you are literally exhausted for the majority of your life. Um, so it is a full commitment. It is very tough training, it's very tough competition, it's a tough lifestyle in a lot of ways. Um, and I wouldn't do it unless I loved it. I still love it, I still get as excited as I did the first time. I love setting yourself a challenge and something that's going to hurt, but you really have to push yourself to achieve it. That's, that, that's what turns me on in, it, in, it, in, it, in some respects. It's amazing just to uh, train around people that are so successful in the sport and um, I just kind of use them to my advantage and kind of try and learn off them and their experiences and um, it is a really great team at the moment and um, I think really good things will happen. It's such a brilliant environment to train in, fantastic athletes and it's so exciting to see so many different crews getting medals and it's, you know, we could get medals in, in London and that's, that's absolutely brilliant. We all are transparent about why we want to be here, we're open about our motives and our motives all come together and they're all slightly different but ultimately we all want to win the Olympic Games and we want to do it together. Everybody's looking at medals and everyone's now looking pretty much at gold medals and you know I think that pushes you on in training, it pushes you on in, in any competition we do and, and you get that great mutual support from everyone going for this top goal and yeah they're not going to be one focus come 2012. It, no amount of someone shouting at me to pull harder or you know go faster is going to make me go any faster than I already want to go myself. Uh, I know that every day when I turn up the train I'm 100% focused on wanting to win that gold medal. London's definitely on the horizon, it's at the back of our minds. Even this morning the Cox was saying, do you want to win at London? So it's, it's, a, it's a massive driving force. Defending an Olympic gold medal is a huge, huge challenge and a huge honour to be honest with you. We are racing on home water in front of a home crowd and we're going to be making sure that everything we do between now and then puts us in the position where we can go out there and win a really good race. We've become the team to beat now and uh, so for this season uh, we just need to be a little bit stronger but perhaps uh, keep our powder a little bit dry and really deliver next year.